Until Dawn Rush of Blood is a spin-off of the original horror game Until Dawn. It is a rail shooter and was one of the early releases for PlayStation VR. The game takes place after the events of Until Dawn and is hinted to be in the mind of Josh psychologically scarred from what happened in the first game. It takes place on a roller coaster track, you're sitting in the cart and have two guns to hold in either hand. As you go down the track, your surroundings become more surreal and dangerous going from an abandoned circus to the deep mines of the mountain. You are guided by the circus ringleader who becomes more and more dissolved the further you progress in the game. Even from just starting up the game, it is terrifying. You roll past some credits and are able to look into the rooms you're passing, but you could be attacked by a wendigo or see the ghosts of Hannah and Beth. What got to me the most was how isolated the game felt. Even with someone sitting next to me, it felt like I was on my own and the roller coaster cart is very small. There's nothing protecting you from the sides or behind, you are completely vulnerable no matter where you go. You can turn to the side and see something coming at you, so you have to be careful of every direction of your surroundings. Every area you go to is very creepy and unnerving. A lot of them are reflections of locations from Until Dawn, but there are a lot of unique locations as well. They get creepier the further you progress, but I will say that the final area is a bit lackluster. You start the game with two simple pistols, but you're able to come across different colored boxes to get new guns. They will be assigned to whichever hand shot the box open. The only gun I didn't like was the shotgun because it needed to be reloaded too often and you often don't have any time to spare. There are different enemies to shoot down including wendigos and giant spiders. Also making a reappearance is the psycho but he isn't as easy to take down as the regular enemies. The enemy I hated the most besides the wendigo was this monster nurse thing. She moved around at light speed and liked coming right up to my face in the car and scream at me. Sometimes I had to close my eyes and blindly shoot around because she freaked me out so much. There's also another enemy, a ghost woman. When you're going through her area, she'll come up to you on your left side and if you turn to look at her, she'll scream in your face. So what I did was I just didn't turn to look at her and I just let her scream in my ear. There isn't a very strong story, it's mostly just for fun. Even if you never played the original, you will be able to enjoy this game. If you played the original, you will be able to appreciate all the easter eggs hidden around. This game was so well done and terrifying. I don't get scared very easily, but this one did it, especially being in VR. It's one thing to be able to look away when something scary is on the screen, but in this game, there's nowhere else to look. It really feels like you are in the game and it's a lot of fun to replay or have someone else play and watch their reactions. I like rail shooters for horror because I get lost walking around easily, but this one makes you stay in the creepy area until you finish all the enemies off. If you have VR, I highly recommend this game. It was one of the games I originally wanted to get a VR for and it does not disappoint. I want more games like this from the team, and with their Dark Pictures anthology, maybe they could do another one based on Man of Medan next and keep going as the new games come out. In any case, I highly recommend this one.